we think that we deliver the best standard of care today to children with orthopedic problems, burns, and spinal cord injuries, but we're certainly not satisfied that it's what the kids really need. We want to do much, much better than anyone can do at this point. The only way to improve what we can deliver is to do research. And so research is vital in moving from the very good care that we can uh, deliver today to the even better care that we hope to deliver tomorrow. Research is the way that we can best figure out how to make the patient's outcome better. Right now, we can get a patient through a burn of 90% of their whole body. And yes, they do go home, yes, they're discharged, but my goal is to make that outcome better. I want them back at school. I want them playing in the playground. I want them interacting like every other child in the world reacts. This is the one hospital in the system that cares for kids with burns, orthopedic injuries, and spinal cord injuries, and also has a program for uh, facial cleft abnormalities. But we're not interested simply in taking care of the kids within our Shriners hospitals. We're interested in the impact on the whole world. Part of being a complete surgeon is to have that investigative mind and do research. And in my laboratory, we look at some incredibly basic science and new concepts that might explain why two children with the same burn, one does well, one doesn't. And we can look at the genes of the child and try to understand how to treat them better. So part of our training program, we offer residents to come into our laboratory and spend a year, two years, three years so that they can become the scientists, surgeons for the future. We expect that the result of our research will be to improve how we can care for kids. It may be immediate, as is the case, for example, when we're studying a child in the motion analysis lab, or it can be quite delayed, as when we're studying issues having to do with tissue regeneration. But our motivation is to take care of kids and improve our capacity to do so. Our research um, has just developed amazingly in the last five to ten years and the director of our research department has directed his researchers towards some of the things that we do in orthopedics. One of his researchers and I have partnered on looking at kids with brachial plexus birth palsy which is an injury to the nerves that occurs at birth but the way it manifests itself later on is in hand and arm problems. So together we're working on a research project to maybe help make nerves heal better or figure out why they don't heal better. Right now, we're in the middle of a study that investigates which video games work best for a child. There's no better motivator for a child to move than to watch one of those interactive video games and then start moving in conjunction with the game. They forget that they're burned. They forget that it hurts. They only know that they want to throw the snowball or they want to shoot the bad guy. And those motions that they're doing to play the game actually is the best therapy that they can have. We do have a very active research team here, divided in what we call bench research and clinical research. And we have several projects going on at any given time. We have a big study to evaluate the effect of compression garments on burn patients. And this is a great environment to do research in because many of these kids don't get care anywhere else. We can follow them throughout the years and get a unique opportunity of evaluating the effects of various treatments that you wouldn't have otherwise. The translational research piece, I consider the final piece of research and perhaps the most important because the biggest tragedy is a wonderful laboratory success that never gets applied to the patient. We pride ourselves in our ability to take those tremendous laboratory findings, incorporate them into patient care and make sure that they're used to benefit the patient. The whole point of our research enterprise is to improve the uh, prognosis of kids and to the extent that we're able to do that, that certainly increases uh, their hope and our hope for them. And that's, that's, why, that's why we're doing what we're doing.